Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. Today is a mixed bag, just like the weather. Part snow, part ice, and part rain. Tis central New York winter, you know. Today we're going to move the little roaches out to the winter pen, but first, because it's cold outside, I'm going to set up some heat lamps here in the corner for them. There we go. Next we got to spread out some hay for them, make them nice and cozy in here, you know. Looks pretty cozy to me. Yeah, I think they'll do well. Lots of space in here. Well, I guess we'll go get the pigs. Oh, it's cold. Choke. sure does run nice these days. Well, let's see what we got in here. There's Brownie. There's Brownie's little sausages under the light. A little cold today. Hi, Mom. Hey roaches, you guys are going to a new home today. Mom will finally be able to get some sleep and peace. Yep. First thing we gotta do is move Mom out into the spare pen. Mom, you're probably dying to get out, aren't you? All right, you know, you gotta stay in. Mom goes out, you guys stay in. There you go. this every video when we move pickles. Pick them up by the rear legs is the safest way to pick them up. If you grab them around the middle, there's a chance you're going to hurt them. When you pick them up by the rear legs, they struggle less and they're a lot easier to handle. Anybody that handles pigs knows this. Piglets in a box, in a bucket. You guys ready to go to your new home? Dump some piglets. Come in. Out you go. Out you go. Come in. Well, come on. You guys. You don't want to come out. You need to be persuaded. Oh my gosh. It's not that bad. There you yeah. go. They always make that same sound when they go to their new pen. Mom's a little bit upset. Yeah. Round number two. Guys, time to join your mates. 
See if you guys come out any easier. Come on. Well. Mom, you've been through this before. You know what's happening. Yeah. Hillary had to grease her before I came out here if I wasn't nicer to her. So I was nicer to her. Go off to find your mates. They're over there. Look at those guys. Yeah. We gotta let mom back into her pen. Agitated, but she'll calm down soon enough. Right now? Very good. Mom's all back in her pen. She'll calm down. Yeah. She's been through this before, haven't you, Red? You've been through this before. Put out some water for him. Ready, guys? You're big. We'll give him some feed here. Eh, one more. All right, monkeys. We'll just spin this around and get some grain distributed in here, and they'll find it pretty soon. What do you think, guys? You want something to eat? You always want something to eat, don't you? You're eating your bedding. Getting your roughage. This feeder works by when the piglets get in here and they start eating, they start nudging these fins around. It agitates feed out of the center. Works really good. I'm gonna creep feed these pigs with this feeder this winter. They're going in May. So, you know, in April so, or so, we'll see how they're looking. And if I have to take them off the creep feeder at that point, because they're getting too fat, we can do that. But for now, they get the creep feed. Dinner whenever they want it. What more could a piglet ask for? Water, an endless buffet, and dry bedding and some heat. They seem happy. Hillary says they seem happy, so I'm inclined to agree. You know what's coming, don't you? <laughs> did, did you hear about the shipload of paint that wrecked and marooned all the sailors? <laughs> marooned all the sailors? <laughs> It's too cold for jokes. No, I think it's just fine for jokes. Actually, they warm me up a little bit.
No leaks. It's been eight days since I coated the starting tank off of the MD with Pour 15, and I'm really happy the way it turned out. I filled it up with fuel. I'm going to leave it sit for, I don't know, a month, two months. I'm not in any big hurry. If it doesn't leak now, I don't imagine it's going to leak a month from now, but we'll make sure. Oh, the weather just keeps getting better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hillary and I figured we haven't tormented the pigs enough today, so we're going to castrate brownies piglets. And, of course, I'm not going to show the actual castration. If you're interested in how it's done, there's a video way back in the library where we showed how we castrate piglets. So, let's get started. We're already covered with pig poop, so we figured... Might as well get all the pig stuff done in one day. The cattle are eating frosted hay today. Hey, little one. How are you? How are you doing? Rusty. You're frosted too. Alrighty, Brownie. Hopefully everybody's calmed down from the ordeal this morning. Hey, little sausages. Hey, little ones. Hey, Mom. How many males are there in here, huh? We haven't counted. Well, just like we did when we moved Red's piglets out, we got to move Mom into the spare pen. Here you go, Brownie. Huh. Gotta do the sniff check. Come in. Come in. At the official piglet castration crate. Hey, you guys. I know, it's the one bad day of the two. Mom is not happy. It's just something that's got to be done. Just a refresher, I catch each of the piglets and the females I mark with blue coat so I know that they're females. And then the males we put into the crate. Boy, mom is making a racket. It's a little harder. There they go. We'll have your babies back to you real soon. She's got two to keep her company. And through the magic of television or video, we're already done. 
Alright guys. you guys we're all done tormenting pigs for today you guys can rest and recuperate yeah I know mom you're a good mom brownie you get upset when your piglets are gone yeah I'd be worried if you didn't I would <laughs> I think we need to go ahead and take a long nap underneath that light where it's warm. Sorry guys. Red, how are you doing? Well, you okay? You're still growling too. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's the way it goes. They were bothering you a lot anyway. They were all over you. They got too hungry. Cattle don't care about the cold, stand outside no matter what the weather is, and complain at me. You guys got plenty of hay, I know, but they say in return it's not the best hay in the world, so we gotta complain about it until you bring the best, very best hay in the world. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, that's not good. I got fooled today, I thought it was gonna be warmer out today than it was, and hydrant froze up so we got to fix that this will do it usually they freeze there's an o-ring right up here where the pipe comes out that gets ice on it and right in here and so I've done this a whole bunch of times with hydrants where you yeah, just have to heat them up a little bit not get that o-ring too hot and free it up to shut it down Not a big deal, it just happens once in a while. It's water frozen gets all the way down. Because I left it on and it froze up, so that's the way it is in the winter. It's supposed to get really cold tonight, like 15 degrees. It's cold compared to what we've had anyway. So I want to make sure that everything gets drained down. And you can't yank on these too hard because that just is a clamp onto there, so. Get freed up and down she goes. Of course, that's frozen up too. Ah, the joys of winter. <laughs> there we go. And unfortunately, my hose that I used to water the pigs froze up too between this morning and now. Once you can get a trickle going, pretty soon it'll be a gusher. <laughs> Blow the ice out of it. We just wait. Look at all that snow out there. What do you think about that snow patty? Eh, she's too busy feeding her face. Any minute now. a bunch of ice right in there. Slush. It's getting faster. Where is it? I don't know. Oh, I sense something is happening. The blockage is being removed. This will be very satisfying. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the simple things, right? This hose has to be disconnected and drained. Well, let's check on the piglets we put out this morning and see how they're doing. Hey guys, looks 
like you found the feed and you found the water too judging by it being a little bit muddy you guys are gonna come see me there's lots to investigate in here isn't there lots of strange smells all right I got one other thing to show you when it comes to pigs. We got one more pig left in the field here. It looks like he's been getting busy and rooted up all the pen. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hillary and I are going to slaughter and butcher him probably in a couple days. We're supposed to get a warm up. I just need warm enough weather to slaughter him and skin him and uh, gut him, and then we can hang him in the shop where it always hovers it never goes below freezing it always stays 30 to 40 when it's this cold out this perfect hanging place for the pig and we'll probably cut them up there too and then we'll have all the pigs out of the field and we'll have a supply of pork the pigs that we sent to the butcher you know out of here we sent in two batches we had two batches of pigs one out of red and one out of brownie and they were born about a month apart red's piglets in the last batch well her pigs in the last batch, they dressed all above 200 pounds, and the biggest one was 250. Brownies piglets, we had four brownies piglets in here because we sold the rest of her piglets in the spring. They only dressed around 150 or so, so they were a little small, but you know, with pigs, you're always glad to be rid of them. They're cute when they're piglets, but the day they go is a good day. Chewy, it's cold out there. Now, I don't like having pigs in the field once it starts to get this cold out. I don't like having pigs out in the cold. It's okay if they're in the barn and they're sheltered from the wind and they have bedding, but not out in the field. So I don't know which I'm going to have for the next video. Either Hillary and I are going to get started with the pig and we'll be doing that in here amidst the tractor parts. Or I'll be doing another video on actually the disassembly of that rear end from the tractor. So I'm not sure. Depends on how the weather goes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're getting back into the swing of things with the new year here, and I'll see you next time.